En el mundo de Zootopia, los humanos nunca existieron. Por eso Zootopia es un mundo moderno y civilizado regido enteramente por animales. Ese es un animal. Los animales de Zootopia son antropomórficos, que es una forma elegante de decir que caminan en dos patas. No van al trabajo desnudos. Gracias. Casi. Mucho mejor. Y usan tecnología. Ok, hay mamíferos de cada rincón del planeta en Zootopia. Grandes y pequeños, rápidos y lentos. Pero la verdad es que Zootopia no es perfecta. Y como en nuestro mundo, no todos se llevan bien. En especial los enemigos naturales. Lo que puede crear algunos... problemas. Pero la naturaleza da habilidades para sobrevivir. Y aunque uno tal vez tenga estupenda visión nocturna, el otro tal vez tenga un increíble oído. Y un dardo tranquilizante para elefantes. Ahora ya lo sabes. Zootopia. Una película sorprendente. take you behind the scenes to talk about how we built the city of Zootopia. At Walt Disney Animation Studios, we strive to create compelling stories set in believable worlds and populated with appealing characters. Today, I'm going to focus on that middle part, creating believable worlds. So, we have to build a completely fictional, brand new animal city from the ground up. We needed an entire city layout, complete with streets, residential and business zones, and distinct construction, all while keeping the principles of geo-design in mind. We needed it all built with a very small team, and we needed it fast. So, like any good city planner, we started with a map. This is one of the earliest maps of the city of Zootopia. You can see the beginnings of each district, as well as how it fits together into the whole. And looking at this map, uh, we had to ask ourselves a few questions. How are we going to divide up the world based on this map? How can we connect neighboring districts together in an organic way? And perhaps most importantly, how can we distribute our buildings in each of these districts? So after looking at the map and discussing among ourselves for a while, we came up with a plan that started with a unified multi-layer map of each of the districts. So let's take a closer look at one of those districts now. The art directors wanted a very specific silhouette for the downtown core area at the center of Zootopia, one that ascended higher as you went up the hill. As you can see that in this early city engine test, where we have the smaller, uh, smaller plaza buildings at the bottom of the hill and the taller shapes growing as you go up. The top image is my first attempt at hitting that uh, ramping silhouette like I mentioned before. All of the green stuff is buildings and trees that were exported from city engine. And the image below that is a paint over or sketch from one of the art directors showing what he actually wanted it to look like. So this is another view of the same downtown core area with our city engine elements mixing in with our tall, distinct, hand-modeled skyscrapers in the center of the city there. So add it all together, and what do you get? This is a final frame from the film's train ride sequence. There are tens of thousands of parts in each district. And when we add them all together, there are over 300,000 city parts in this shot exported from City Engine. Give up, no, I 
Welcome to Zootopia.